Hello everybody, my name is Michael Bailey with Avacon, and I'm also known in various virtual worlds as Marcus Llewellyn. And I'd like to welcome you back to this tutorial series on learning to build an open simulator. Up to this point, we've been resing prims one by one from our edit window, even when they're the exact same shape. But there's a much easier way to do this, and it's called cloning prims. Cloning a prim creates a new copy of that prim, and this allows you to reuse an object that you put a lot of work into without either recreating it or taking it and resing a new copy out of your inventory. And even better, it also works on link sets. This tutorial will seem kind of short in comparison to the ones we've done so far, but don't let that fool you. This is a very valuable skill that will increase your speed in building a great deal and make things a lot easier for you. So let's start by opening our build window and let's res a sphere. Now, to clone the sphere, what we're going to do is hold down our shift key and then drag on one of the axial arrows. As you can see, an exact duplicate has been created. You can do this as many times as you like. What's more, you can select all the prims you've just created and duplicate multiple ones. It's probably very apparent that you can very quickly make a lot of prims this way. You can also clone a link set. Let's do this now by selecting all the prims we've just created and hitting Control L to link them. Now, if we hold our Shift key and drag, the entire link set is duplicated. Practice doing this. In the last tutorial, when we were working with link sets, we learned about the Edit Linked option, which allowed us to select a single prim in a link set and move it or resize it or modify it however we'd like. Uh, one thing to remember is cloning does not work on the single part of a link set. The viewer just won't let you do it. If you want to clone a single part of a link set, you'll first have to unlink the prim that you want to clone and then shift and drag to clone it. And then relink your prims back into the link set. And that is the end of this tutorial on learning how to clone prims and link sets. We hope you learned a lot, and as always, keep practicing, keep building, and we'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching.